And there are many steps in place to make sure everyone is safe as they head to the polls and for the days that follow. Brandon Simmons has details on the effort to head off any possible disturbances. From New York City to North Carolina, cities across America are preparing for potential unrest as Americans head to the polls on Election Day. The Cleveland Division of Police has a plan in place to ensure that everyone who comes to vote uh, will be able to do so uh, safely and orderly. Here at home, law enforcement agencies are partnering to make sure you're safe as you cast your ballot and in the hours and days that follow. We will be activating the Emergency Operations Center uh, tomorrow for Election Day, working closely with our state uh, federal and federal partners and uh, municipal partners as well to make sure that it's safe that, that uh, citizens who come out and vote again can do so safely. That's our priority. As you head to the polls, the Cuyahoga County Sheriff's Department says you may or may not see a security presence at your particular polling location, but help is always just a phone call away. With mobile units prepared to protect election officials and voters alike, Cleveland police have also canceled all time off and placed officers on standby, keeping that plan in place as long as necessary. There are similar partnerships in Summit and other counties as well. And don't forget, voter safety also includes wearing a mask. As they stand in line and wait to vote and as they enter voting centers, uh, that's going to be very important. Uh, COVID is on the rise and we need to continue to be vigilant in combat, combating that. Now, of course, there are many more plans that these agencies weren't willing to discuss due to security reasons. Just know that they are prepared for the worst, although Russ, like you and I, they're hoping for the best. We certainly are. All right, Brandon Simmons, thank you.